I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I am going to discuss the operation of three-phase inverter. Along with that, I am going to discuss the analysis, the conduction at uh, different angles, also applications, then advantages and disadvantages. First of all, let's understand what is the meaning of three-phase inverter. So, three-phase inverter is a type of inverter which is designed to convert DC input into three-phase AC. You know that three-phase AC that is suitable for high power and variable frequency drive application. Also, high voltage DC power transmission, which is one of the emerging trends right now. Even like uh, if you talk about like a heavy machines, we require like a constant power and higher efficiency. Also, the industrial equipments, then elevators, then uh, air conditioning systems, which require high power. Such kind of application, single phase system cannot be admissible. At that time, of course, we would like to go for three phase system. So, three phase AC is needed so that from the single phase DC or from the DC, we can produce three phase AC. So, that is a concept of, or, and that's the purpose of using the three phase inverter. So, three single phase inverter switches, which each can be connected to one three load terminals. Okay. This is actually the construction of three phase inverter. So, it's a combination of three single phase inverter. So, each switches which will be connected to one three load terminals. So, that's actually the way how the three phase inverter is developed. Okay. So, let me discuss further. It, will, it works based on 120 degree conduction as well as 180 degree conduction. However, 120 degree conduction is quite common. Compared to single phase inverter, the three phase inverter create more stable and consistent power output. If I measure the harmonics content, that is consistently less because the waveform will be like a stepped waveform compared to single phase inverter. Okay, so that's what we prefer three phase inverter. Moreover, the total power quality issues will be reduced if we go for three phase inverter. So usually we keep the switch duty cycle of the switches is 50 percentage. Although we have the different type of combination switches in this particular fashion, I will be showing you the circuit diagram in detail. For the time being, you need to understand about the conduction and what about the duty cycle of the switches. Okay. If I talk about like uh, the working and components, first of all, DC to AC conversion. Okay. So we have like a DC supply, DC source is needed. Also, we require a power electronic switches such as IGBT and MOSFET and which will be performing the switching operation and uh, the delay that we can, can we can adjust the firing angle. The There will be like two type of like delay. One is 120 degree, other one is 180 degree. Then another one is actually called a PWM technique. Suitable PWM technique is required to control the switches. So these are the basic information about the three phase inverter and what are the major components which are employed. Now I am going to show you the circuit diagram of three phase inverter. First of all, we have the DC supply. VD stands for DC supply. Then uh, here you can see like a VD by two and uh, minus VD by two. So here we are using a capacitive potential divider. Okay. You can see a capacity which I put arrow key, capacitive potential divider. Okay. Later, we have how many switches are available? We have T1, T3, T5, then T2, T4, T6. Okay. The T1, T3, T5 are belong to positive group where T4, T6, T2 are belong to negative group. In order to ensuring the protection of T1, T2, T5, T4, T6, T, T2, we have Prevailing diodes D1, then D3, D5, then D2, or D6, D4. Otherwise, the switches would have been spoiled. To overcome that, we are using the prevailing diode. Okay, it will uh, set, it will make sure that switches will be safe. Current will be getting divided. No reverse. Current will be entirely directly falling on, directly move on to the specified switches. In addition to that. I would like to introduce the load. We have like a three phase load. Okay. So the terminal from this particular thing, A, it is directly connected to the point number one. From B, you can see Y, point number two. From C, we have 
like uh, point number three. So all are resistive load only. If you want, you can use inductive load as well. Two modes of conductions are available, usually 120 degree mode and 180 degree mode. In general, 120, 120 degree mode is most commonly used. So this is actually the circuit diagram of three phase inverter, which is most important. I hope you people understood the basic circuit diagram of three phase inverter. Now my plan is to explain the operation. So we have like uh, two modes of conduction. One is 180 degree. Let me talk about like a 180 degree conduction. So the conduction angle that is actually 180 degree. So each, each one, each segment is activated at an interval of 60 degree. So 60 degree into three, that is 180 degree. The output terminals ABC, you can see the diagram also. See, output terminals ABC are connected to the star or three phase delta connection to the load. You can see here. So A is connected to R. Uh, then B is connected to Y. C is connected to B, R, Y, B. Okay, so there is a neutral point. Okay, you can use the star connection. Either you can go for delta connection. It is up to you. Depends on the requirement. What is your requirement? Uh, based upon the requirement, uh, you can go ahead with the connection. Either star or delta. Okay. So this is the pattern. How the switches are getting conducted. Now you can see like uh, the input voltage. Vn will be V by 3. Vbn is equal to minus 2V two, two by 3, VC, Vcn is equal to V by 3. You can see here. So, all are like Van stand for phase voltage. Okay. A Vbn is also phase voltage, Vcn is also phase voltage. But I would like to check the line voltage. Vab is equal to Van minus Vbn. Okay, look at this. What are like a line voltage? Vab. You can check it up. The voltage between two lines. Vab. Okay. VAN minus VBN, that is nothing but V. Similarly, VBC, VBN minus VCN. Okay, just calculation of potential difference. VCA is equal to VCN minus VAN, that is equal to zero. So, this analysis, you should know the circuit diagram. By referring the circuit diagram, you should make it the analysis. Uh, in that 120 degree conduction, so every electronic device will be at the conduction state with the 120 degree. So it is suitable for like uh, delta connections. The result will be like uh, six step waveforms so that harmonics will be minimal. Moreover, this uh, every device will conduct at 110, 120 degree. That is another speciality of the, the 120 degree conduction. So now I'll be moving on to the details of uh, 120 degree conduction. A terminal on the load is connected to the positive where B terminal is connected towards negative. Look at this. The C terminals or the load will be conduction known as floating state. Here you can see the terminal C. Okay, check it up. Please check the terminal C. Okay, this become like a floating state. The phase voltages are equivalent to the voltage of the load is given below. Okay, those equations, all those things I will be showing you so that you will be comfortable. So, three phase inverter minus 100 degree conduction. VAB will be equal to V. VB is equal to minus V by 2. VC is equal to V by 2. If you want, you can use the calculation which I shown you a bit early. Okay. So, the operation pattern uh, that is already given. So, uh, the T1. Okay. Uh, so, conduction. Okay. Like, uh, so during this particular, like a T, when, uh, this particular conduction, the device will be conducting for this first step. S1. So, sorry. T1, T5 and T6. For the second step, it will be T1, T2, T6. In the third step, T1, T2, T3. Kindly verify with the help of circuit diagram so that you can understand the concept fastly. So, like uh, these are the conduction, it will be helpful. If you refer this table, you will come to know that which and all the device will be conducting during the positive half cycle and uh, during the negative half cycle. So, VRN can be calculated by using the formula Vs divided by 3. Okay, so that is actually the uh, phase voltage. Phase voltage is nothing but one line and one neutral neutral point.
can check it. Yes. Similarly, all the phase voltages you can measure V R and V Y and V B N. Okay, the value also you can know the. So line voltage V R by V Y B and V B N. Okay. So this formula also most important. You can check it. Check the formula. You can check the equations. Okay. Yes. Compared to the single phase inverter, you can see the output. Like uh, if I talk about the VRN, it's a phase voltage. And VYN is another phase voltage. VBN is another phase voltage. See, the output you can see like uh, uh, the stepped waveforms. The main plus point of stepped waveform is like uh, it won't affect the power quality. Right. Okay. So the conduction is elaborated in this uh, particular segment. So we have 120 degree mode. You can see the pattern of 120 degree mode, how it is actually uh, happening in the uh, like uh, circuits. So the line voltage value and phase voltage value. After referring this, you can uh, like verify how it is actually happening for each uh, phases. Okay. Equations you can note down. Okay. So here you can see like the stepped waveforms. So this way we can uh, get the line voltage and phase voltage. Okay, so DC will be converted into like uh, a three phase AC. Okay, applications are like uh, it is used for VFT, variable frequency drive application. So high power application like uh, HDFC, sorry, HBDC, uh, such kind of like high voltage DC transmission and uh, a three phase square wave inverter is used for UPS circuit, etc. So stable output is the plus point. Even uh, the efficiency also ensuring very high, but uh, the thing is like a uh, versatility. Okay, so we need to uh, wait for like the material, and uh, so certain adjustments are required. Okay, so these are the like important contents. Okay, stable output, then high efficiency, versatility. These are the advantages. So like. Uh, 3-phase inverter. So I will conclude the session of 3-phase inverter. Okay, you can go through the equations. This will be helpful for you. Let me know if you have any queries. So let me summarize. Uh, in this session, I discussed what is Three phase inverter. What are the two important modes of operation? And we have seen the circuit diagram. Uh, the simple working we have discussed. Okay. Uh, then the mathematical equations. So that's all. Uh, if you have any queries, you can ask through comment box. Thank you for, for watching this video. Happy learning.